Here we're going to demonstrate how to check the automatic belt tensioner on a CAT 3126. Now Caterpillar provides specifications uh, for their automatic tensioners based on the part number. For this one, you'll notice they give us two things. They tell us that the turtle travel is supposed to be 71 degrees and then it gives us our spring torque. It says in inch pounds it should be 124.8 plus or minus 15 inch pounds at 25 degrees from the arm, the free arm position. So we're going to show you how to check that here on this engine. For our demo, the belt has already been removed. And what you're going to need is you're going to need a protractor and a marker to mark that 25 degrees. So we're going to take our protractor. We're going to line it up with the center mounting bolt of the tensioner. And then you'll see we have zero, we have our markings, and up here would be our 25. So I'm going to need to create two marks. I'm going to make one mark on the arm position in line with zero, the part that's going to swing. And then I'm going to make a mark. I want to make sure I make that all the way straight across. And then I'm going to make a mark at 25 degrees on the stationary portion that is not going to swing. When I put tension on this, if I line up those marks, that would then be 25 degrees, and that's where I'm going to measure my torque. To do that, we're going to use an inch-pound uh, beam scale torque wrench. I believe this one is actually made by SK Tools. There's several manufacturers out there that you can use. And you'll notice that this one goes up to 200 inch-pounds, so it's well within our range needed for the specification. We'll clip this on here. Watching my marks, we'll turn that until we line up at our 25 degrees right there. And then we can read our scale, beam scale torque wrench. And I'll have to block the camera here to get a good reading. Looks like that reads at um, 140 right now at the current position. So you can see the two marks. When I turn this, I'm lining up the two black marks right there so that I can read the proper torque at 25 degrees of turn. And that is how you would check uh, according to the specifications when they give you a, a number of degrees and an inch pound or a torque reading.